Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. Speaking of that phase, I've got to ask you about MTV, dude. There was this whole phase, uh, say 2005 to 2010-ish, where MTV was really popping, at least in urban centers for sure. I feel the hype has kind of gone down in urban centers, but it's still very much alive in like tier 2, tier 3, tier 4. So those are those, I think that was the roadies era. Yeah, roadie split era. That was crazy. People were going bonkers. Like there were mini riots and all at those <laughs> audition centers and the producers all hiding in rooms and stuff so that these people are breaking barricades and shit. I joined MTV in 2008, I think late 2008. I think Brocha was done by then. He was still there a little bit here and there. Uh, I got to work a little bit with Sahu. That was a lot of fun. Another crazy guy. Lots of fun. Insane. Did you get to work with Raghu? Yeah, yeah. The first time I met Raghu, so Rodis was at its peak. Hmm. And uh, I think they had called me in. First time I went to MTV, they called me in my first interview. Okay. I thought I was going in there to go for a, to be a VJ and all. The person interviewing me thought that I was there for a sales job. <laughs> and 20 minutes into it, I was like, I think there's some miscommunication here. <laughs> <laughs> they were asking me about sales and numbers and all. And I was like, okay, I answered all the questions because I had a bit of background in radio and all. So I did it. But then I was like, hey, kya ho gaya? anyway, second time, then the VJ sort of like interview happened here. But I met Raghu and Raghu met me. And that ex this explains why I had the rat on my chin. <laughs> but uh, Raghu looked at me and said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that wo that's understood. It's implied. <laughs> you don't have to say it. Really. He says, you have a weak chin. <laughs> so I was like, I haven't even said hello. So he's like, you have a weak chin. That's all he said to me. And I don't even know whether he was scared out of me or not. Because Raghu was like that. He, sometimes he'd just be screwing. A very chill guy. Um, said, you have a weak chin. And he left. And he left on that two month roadies, this thing, you know. And here I'm left with just this thought. I ended up growing a big ass goatee <laughs> like that. Do you, oh, what's up, Youngistan and shit. Crazy. That's bonkers. Bonkers. Why, why did Raghu leave MTV? And like, you know, why did it kind of... I don't know, man. I think, I think a lot of stuff just runs its course, man. Mm. Um, you can't be doing the same thing all the time. Of course, exceptions to the rule. Like I did radio for 10 years. Um... Raghu did roadies for so many years. Sometimes things just run run their course. And I feel like uh, people also are in different places in their lives. He must have felt like he wanted to do something else. Maybe the channel wanted something. I don't know for sure what happened. But then they parted ways. But then he came back after that. Mm. There was one year where he left. They did another version. Everyone's like, no, yeah. <laughs> Raghu So then they brought Raghu back. <laughs> then he, I think he did a couple more seasons. And then he was like, okay, chalo, bas. Mm. Hmm. Um, he took that show to another level. Bro. Yeah. I think roadies for a lot of urban kids at least, it's very synonymous with him. Dude, they had to run around with bodyguards and stuff. Mm. Because people thought he was like that. Like really, <laughs> oh, I say yeah. And they're coming to hit him. Yeah, yeah. People would threaten <laughs> him and stuff. So they had to run around with bodyguards. <laughs> and sometimes Raji would get the... the <laughs> because they'd say, hey, Raghu. <laughs> ah, kidding. <laughs> But crazy, that was some mad shit. Will you we ever peak. get will we ever get to see Dr. Hoje again and Hani Valkar? Oh god, no. I think those times are gone, man. Gone. <laughs> that shit is done. I think we'll have <laughs> Dr. Suresh. <laughs> Dr. Suresh. We we're planning on doing a couple of those uh, we tried to do a bit of those radio call-ins and all on YouTube only. Yeah, yeah. People started calling in like really sad and shit. <laughs> and I was like, listen, I can't, we're not qualified to help you. I can help you if you say that your girlfriend saved your number as <laughs> number three <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> but I can't help you if you're genuinely going through a problem. You need to speak to a family member or, or get real help. And that's not very entertaining on YouTube, right? It's really like heavy shit. So then we can that also. I was like, Dude. What's what's next on the cards? Fuck knows, man. I have no honestly I have no idea. Do you plan? I honestly don't plan. I should. I'm planned enough, but I'm not not to the point where I should be. <laughs> I feel like I'm planned enough. But I'm also still trying to like figure out I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Like this pandemic really slowed things down, made me rethink a lot of shit. Um also, I've changed so much. I can see it also. Like I see the old content. I see the new content. I feel like I've changed a lot. And uh, I'm trying to still figure out where I want to go. 
but it's always been like that i've always do let think, it like flow and dikhte hain kya hota hai do you think you'd ever try stand up comedy i've done a bit of stand up comedy it's damn good would would you take it up like yeah 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 i totally would totally mm. would. but uh, i don't know i mean this is the first time i'm coming out of my house bro <laughs> <laughs> after the pandemic i swear to god i was like thoda aur rukte na rukte hain thoda <laughs> let's see let's see but now i'm amazed we've all it's all like it's like there was no pandemic only do there's no piece of yours on the internet that i haven't watched or really? haven't consumed oh my yeah. god like i'm that much of a super fan honestly that's that's amazing <laughs> like i've seen all your interviews everything man i know everything about you <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is, I, I saw this reel somebody made saying, um, "Isn't it great to have been born in the '80s? Because all the stupid shit we did is not on the internet." 